Yeah, I just got it on video so we can do it. Just be close. Thanks. Yeah, y'all can, y'all can, I just got it on video. So y'all can just. Hey. Can I do it? Can I do it? Am I doing it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> you know, I got it. Yeah. You got to set up. I need. I, I, I kind of disappointed myself. I was supposed to look at it. Right. Plus, you. Oh my god! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you're in the middle. Oh, I am. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's like, you got some height. I know. Like, like, you got some height. Yeah, I, know, right? <laughs> no, you I ain't like that. that. Uh-uh. All right, bro. You're not going to Cat Williams me. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh, what, you want another fucking piece of this? I do need some. Go ahead, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we really need. Yeah. I almost wanted to like see what it was. I, was like, I know. That sounds good. And I, know. I was like, what do you need to do to start off the good year? <laughs> For real. Are we live? Are we live? Yeah, you know how to do Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Hey. Just chit chat. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we live. I'm just happy. I was, I was happy. Happy to make it to the new year, man. Happy to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
house. I've been in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could stay in the house sometimes. Okay, but yeah, uh, Dallas and I want to um, get you my project and then work on like some other ones. So of course, I'm definitely consider you for some stuff. Okay. Yeah. I put your people on. That's yeah. so what it's all about. You know, you know I'm going to show up. Mm -hmm. you show up, show out. Mm -hmm. show you you show need up. what? Okay. Right. <laughs> You're like, I got to do what? All right. Depending on what you No, no, nothing like that. Nothing like that. You know I mean? mm -mm. I'm not going to put you in a dress. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's look. Uh, <laughs> too dynamic up that. <laughs> keep me a dress version, keep my booty hole a version in my right, mouth. Right, right. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's so what's it. happening, people? Long what's day? up? Yes, I know, right? <laughs> that was. That was. Um, first of all, what's up? Uh, yeah, what y'all got in works for the uh, beginning? Well, for the new year. For the new year. projects. <laughs> you, want, you want me to go over? You can go over. Right. <laughs> well, um, in the new year, it should be two movies that I'm, I'm working on mm -hmm. um, that's coming out, um, which is Fall of Sin, which screened in, um, in August. Hey, man, somebody. Hey, man. Come on, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Maybe it's time to just let it go. You can't let it go, Rick. 12 years me dealing with this. You don't mind me asking? What happened to her? She died. I have demons, and, and they plague me, and this life, and the things that go on in my head. Sleepless nights, it just gets to be too much. I don't know what you're talking about, but I appreciate you get the f away from me. You know what, honestly, the world could use more caring men like you. Appreciate that, thank you. That's why I serve justice the best way I know how. You forgot it's the people with no remorse that's caused this life. So did you want to come in for a real drink? Yeah. For Loma declares in chapter three. Oh! oh. 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 Had sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. It, as of right now, is it was sent to Baltimore International Film Festival, mm -hmm. which was uh, it was accepted. It had uh, the best narrative and mm -hmm. best audience, I believe. Um, it was also sent to New York, if you like to that, we were some of my that. Um, and we got picked for the Washington International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, congratulations to y'all both, though. Thank that, you. Thank you. Know, <laughs> you know, most I'm all about accolades, because you know how I'm, I'm about to hop around. She yeah. don't even know. She don't oh, even know. man. <laughs> she don't even know. Yeah, yeah. yeah most definitely. Oh, man. Man. We, we um, don't. Uh, do y'all have anything bring the New Year party or just mellowed it out or no like friends, this family. year hit the ground running for me mm -hmm. um a project that i wrote back in college um just kept you know just kept popping up in my mind it was just like this story has to be told so got the funding through that uh the people that i worked with on redline for yeah. that went through la film festival and you know the film circuits and yeah. that was pretty cool um so yeah they want to work with me on my project so we're going to start yes. shooting that like in the spring let's get it um in february i have two shows that i'm dancing for one on february 16th one on february 24th so definitely follow me at victoria underscore Lori. that's l-a-u-r-e-y to see that information um, and then I'm also dancing for our guy who, you know, wrote and directed for all that sin. Right. He's having his uh, exotic showcase, exotic, right, and I danced yeah, for yeah. him last year. So they, you know, said everybody loved it. They want to have me come back. So yep, I'm doing that on February 23rd. Um, and okay. then I have been casted lead for three projects. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be happening later this year as well. So it's pretty busy, and I feel very, very blessed. Absolutely, so, yeah. she's definitely <laughs> blessed and uh, busy and 
uh, uh, talented and, 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 you know, I ain't gonna say boy to boy, but uh, oh my God. <laughs> we met. Um, it was a great segue, I'm glad you mentioned it. So, as y'all know, um, because of my boy, you know, thank you, first of all, <laughs> you know, first hand, yo, you know, oh, didn't want to say, you, did, yeah, you, did. Like, you know, that's how I first got introduced, you see me behind the scenes, the scene the I'm like, oh, I know her, I know her, you know, I was about, you know, and then, and then, of course, uh, she's a second with Keith, and she's beautiful. She oh, said, thank you. She's here. Uh, most definitely, most definitely. You know, <laughs> you know how I got beautiful, you know, thank you. I, I call it, um, I was like, when I, if y'all see her, um, her work, uh, it's it, it's a uh, it's very uh okay. You might stay on the page for a little while. I'm just saying you might stay. On the page for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about that one? Oh, I thought, thought you were talking oh, about all the modeling. The mo yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She, she, she got a body. I'm just trying to. I mean, she ain't stand up yet, but the shit is lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll get it later. You can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Victoria yeah. underscore Lori L A U R E Y. If you want to see what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want the courage in the right spot, it's Facebook. Man, my man take the hot. Oh my god, I got you. Are you blushing? Anyway. Um. So, um, are you a sports girl or Ravens fan? Lamar? Yeah, I'm definitely a Ravens fan. Yeah. So, what you what you think? You straight. It's basically there to lose. What'd you say? I'm not gonna confirm or deny. <laughs> but I just want them to get to the Super Bowl. That's please, all I want. Please. <laughs> and In win this that life. Win that please, please, please. That's all I want. So, yes. We need another three. Yes. Yes. You know Something. That's all I want. Did y'all go to the, uh, the 2013 parade? It was crazy because like I went to school that day and it was like nobody in school. They, right, they yeah. asked me like, why are you in school? <laughs> <laughs> this is like celebration. Right, right. Bye. Yeah, so, um, like, <laughs> politicians took off, police took <laughs> off. They was in the house. They went downtown. Um, like, hey, yeah, that's beautiful. So, um, <laughs> we live, people. <laughs> Welcome back Happy to the Fat No Podcast. Um, really conversations with me. So, uh, uh, it's your boy E Man Above, the Golden Maker, Savannah Extraordinary, Foodie Exploration Expert. Um, just not a happy face, uh, swag out, you see. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, because um, fit is fitting. Um, um, just all around talent. It, it's so many, it's a plethora. Like, this so, boy is talented. Um, you know, uh, you, uh, the, the, uh, the makeup and producer behind the scenes, you know, and uh, element <laughs> for my leading role with, with these lovely people. Um, and, you know, and, and, you know, you see how he looks. I mean, my work is on, it's, it's in the movies oh, now. Oh, yeah, my, my work is in the movies. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Definitely bit that. You know I mean? um, so, um, as y'all see, got my boy, uh, actor, producer, uh, right. helped me with my, my uh, uh, when we was at the show. Uh, the, the barber. Yeah, yeah. He, he, oh, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That was Behind cool. the scenes guy. Um, I love that. I love mm. that. Yeah. Uh, so he uh, definitely, uh, just been a grown a button button friendship button bro romance yeah, so, like yeah. um so and then um to my left you know the beautiful the, the dancer nominated actor well both of them are nominated so nominated actor uh uh massage therapist pro <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh oh, uh, oh god uh, <laughs> i already know what this is about uh, to go uh, <laughs> Tiny stick of dynamite. Um, like I said, uh, <laughs> award winner, actor, producer, dancer, all around talent. You can catch her and well, both of them in uh, Black Therapy and For All of Sin. And um, just a all around lovely person, Miss Victoria Lori. <laughs> Welcome to Thank the show. Thank you. Thank let's you. Go, let's Thank go. you. <laughs> all right. So, uh oh, he's first of all. Oh, man. I know flip though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. It's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. about to get real. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so first I say I'm gonna be it's crazy. This new year I've been booking a lot of destinations. I gotta go to Atlanta twice in about a couple months, New nice. York, Vegas. Um what what's 
what y'all dream not domestic but dream destination spot i'm gonna tell you about but what's your dream oh either for a movie or just get away for a vacation what's your what's your destination spot hmm dream destination spot. I, I always wanted to go to the motherland to africa to ghana i heard it's some you know some beautiful places in ghana um just wanted to you know experience that get away see some different stuff so i mean that would be like my you know my dream destination for me what about you um i actually have a bucket list oh okay. <laughs> um i wrote it down uh years ago so i keep it with me in my wallet which is you know so that way when it happens i'm like oh i can cross these things off right. so for me my destination places would probably be like tokyo um oh, i want to backpack yeah. throughout europe that'd okay. be dope yep um I definitely want to see Australia. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, definitely Africa, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm, I'm weird. I just want to go to like Tokyo <laughs> no, <laughs> and like learn the culture over there. I want to go to like the robot restaurant, which was pretty cool to see. Because um, one of my friends, he went over there, I think like a couple years ago. And just mm -hmm. to see his stories, like it was beautiful. Um, and then like once like, you know, one of my friends went like to like the uh, Philippines, Thailand. So yeah, I would definitely mm -hmm. love to visit places over there like that. So yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, mine's is straight out. I seen somebody do a vlog of uh Zanzibar. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Gotta go. That's number one. Okay. That's number one. Uh love to do Asia too, Tokyo. Mm -hmm. That's uh, but yeah. And uh Either Madagascar or Togo. Mm. Yeah. Okay. African spots. Um, yeah, I want to go to Tokyo too. They might have like the PlayStation Six over there. Oh my god. They might, <laughs> they, they might really they, have yeah, all they yeah, yeah, probably yeah, playing yeah, GTA Six now. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You never know. You, they, um, they advance. Right. You know? Yeah, I want, I want to be like Norman Reedus. I don't know if y'all ever seen like The Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah, right, right. They like ride with Norman right, Reedus, absolutely. and he yeah. had like his friends over there in Tokyo. Oh, and they right. rode the you know throughout Tokyo. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. I would love to do something like that. Yeah, so that was, that I think like my next cool. goal is to get like a motorcycle and just like you know probably start like a little motorcycle gang or something. I don't know. But, all right, y'all, come <laughs> sure. on, let's travel. We going to yeah, we just going to ride around. Yeah, that'd yeah, be dope. Ride Absolutely. I get a dirt bike though, you know. It's, oh, it's the Baltimore in me, okay? <laughs> rough rider. Yeah, I'm like old school. Cause my dad always had like motorcycles growing up, um, and he has like this one right now that looks like Captain America. It's pretty cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just want to be like this. I want to be this little thing, right, like right, this. Right, 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 and they're like, like her little behind on Absolutely. Like, she, she, like, she, she, like, that's, 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 that <laughs> like, that's how I want to be. But yeah, that'd be dope. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. You did have some uh, photo shoes on the bike, then. Yeah, that was my photographer's yeah. uh, motorcycle. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So when he got it, he was like, I want you to be the first one to like take pictures with it. Because mm -hmm. I'm like basically like his muse. So we come up with concepts. Um, and it's a oh, pretty okay. cool, cool partnership that we've had. Because when I used to work at the Baltimore Times, I met him through my mentor there. Okay. So mm -hmm. just as the year's been going on, um, we just like been just like getting better and better and better with like our concepts. And it's like, you know, brought work to both of us, like. People want to work with him, and you know, yeah. people hit me up like, "Oh my God, I've seen your pictures with PJ. I want to work with you." So yeah, it's a really great friendship. He's like a big brother to me. That's so what's so up. Yeah, yeah, but he was like, "You gotta be the first one to bike." And as soon as I took that photo, he said, "Girl, you should see my DM." Yeah. Everybody, everybody hit me up. Like, who's like first that? of all, yep, who's that? Number one. Right. And then two, you got other girls saying, "Oh my God, can I ride you? Can I be on the bike?" He like, no. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. But yeah. That's what's up. So what what's your uh do you have a particular brand of bike? Do you want a cruiser? Mm. A crotch rocket? Oh god. Uh, <laughs> I or just just the regular, you know, like you said, just level high handlebars. That's all like I the want. Harley. Yeah, Harley, yeah Harley, that's what yeah. I want. Yeah. But I mean, you know I know a lot of people gonna be like Harley. Yeah. But uh, you know, I don't know. I I don't think I've actually like sat down and decided like which you know brand i want mm -hmm. but my dad's pretty cool with that like i think he's had just about like every type of brand um so he's definitely the person that i would go to to be like hey like you know just get his opinion and stuff on it right. and he's self-taught mechanic so i know if something oh, okay. break down yeah he got daddy all right um so how is your well from what i can tell y'all on screen 
chemistry is impeccable. Like, oh, I, thank you. It, it just I seems like natural. That. You know, the short. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, of course, I guess coming working with each other. Right. Um, what was your uh, best takeaway of working with each other? You want to take this first? You can go first. <laughs> My best takeaway, um, I want to actually go back to the first time that we actually worked together. It was actually with um, Rose, the singer, um, uh, you know, and she really like, it was just like the screen that she did. That was like a real live screen. Like that, that stuff was loud. Okay. Mm. It was, just, it was like so loud. <laughs> And I was like, oh, snap, like, she really, you know, yeah. you can see it. You, you can know feel it, saying? right, right. And then that's when uh, we came back together on Black Therapy, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just like her her presence, you know what I'm saying, and, and how she approaches, like, each and every scene. Mm -hmm. It, like, takes you to a whole other level, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like you got to, like, meet her there. And it's like, for me, like, I want to be in it as much mm -hmm. as possible and she's the same way so it's like we we kind of feed off of each other so it's like mm -hmm. it's always going to be you know that chemistry there because you know as long as we know what was going on in the scene you know um <clears throat> the character you know and how they want to complete or who's dominant mm -hmm. you know the perceived distance everything that has to go into the scene you know mm -hmm. we we just hit it yeah. like that yeah. well, i was going to one of the more intense scenes since you said you gotta go to a different dynamic when you was tied up and they kidnapped you <laughs> Man, that was like that was the first scene of Black Therapy. Yeah, that was the first scene. That was that was what um awesome, which mm -hmm. is like a, a, a awesome actor. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out to Awesome I mean. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, the way we did that scene, um, I, I really like had to be in that that person's shoes. Yeah. Like as Definitely. far as like you know, feeling like you're you know you feeling like this is the you're last die, seconds of your you know your life. Like, yeah, look. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just looking at him. And the thing is, is that for me to, like, kind of jump out on the screen is, like, um, me shaking, you mm -hmm. know, things of that nature. Like, me emphasizing the shaking and me just emphasizing, like, what I want to get over to uh, mm -hmm. the character, which is, like, I got something that you want that, you know, ultimately saves my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's how, you know, the character E has always been. He's always found that leverage to kind of get him out of those situations. Mm -hmm. So um, just knowing that dynamic of the character... And uh, being in that scene, it's just like, okay, well, you know, the, and being in that the, those, you know, level of actors too, you know what I'm saying? Because those level mm -hmm. of actors that they have over at Iron Crown Productions, <laughs> out, yeah. um, Naeem, Freeman, and all of them, they um, they really bring it to a whole other level. So you, yeah. you got to bring it, you know, every time that you work with them. Yeah, and plus just a little minor play, you can both well, find this on TV. Black therapy, you know. Um, but yeah, um, to answer the question about you know our chemistry, it, it works better when you and somebody can just vibe off each other mm -hmm. and just like really learn each other. Mm -hmm. Um, in that sense of like you know who's gonna take it seriously and who's just doing it for fun. And I can definitely exactly. tell like he doesn't just do this for fun. Like this is mm -hmm. something he's really passionate about and really cares about, and it shows in his work. And it just makes you respect the person so much more because you have to trust the actor that you're in the scene with. Absolutely. You can't be the one carrying it or you both are not going to be bringing something exactly. out of each other. Yep. And I would say one of my favorite scenes that we did on Black Therapy was the bar scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was so yeah. agitated. <laughs> when every time I kept reading the lines for the scene, I was like, oh, God, E gets on my nerves. <laughs> and I'm like, and that was one of my favorite because I know I had, everybody was cracking up. Right, listen, I got your text, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, but I don't know about this, all right? Why can't we just buy from people with real problems? First of all, you do have real problems. Second, this is how we're going to be able to control things. So it seems like people are a little shaky about some stuff. Here. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. So I'm depressed? Depressed. It's easy. Yeah, but you just can't walk up in there and say, I'm depressed and I'm paranoid. She got to get it out of you. But I need to get a little bit more info from your session, so Tracy, you could go first. Okay. So I asked the drugs afterwards. Oh my. oh my god. It's not that hard. Just look sad and tell her a story or something. Mm. I don't really think I have no sad stories. Girl, this is me you talking to. And I know you. Don't forget that. Look, Rita, this shit ain't gonna work. I'm trying to tell you. Look, y'all know shit, all right? You know what? If y'all don't want to do it, that's fine. I can find other people to do it and actually do it. But yeah, I would say that's like one of the favorite scenes and the way, you know, you just flowed with me in that you didn't miss a beat. 
Right. And, you know, and then personally, like, I just feel like we're really good friends. Like, it's like, we don't have to speak to each other for a long period of time. But as soon as we see each other, we pick up right yeah. where we left off. It's, just like, mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it's like, like this is my brother for real. And I don't yeah. say that a lot about a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Like, this is my brother. And I do anything that, you know, for this person, especially like when it comes to acting, I'm always put my people on. And this is definitely somebody mm-hmm. where I'm I just like, that, okay. I know that he cares about it. He mm-hmm. cares about the craft. He studies it. And especially when yeah. he, you know, when we did for all that sin. And I know that was like a big thing for you. Yeah. And yeah, I'm sure I've said it, but I want to just say it again. I'm extremely proud of you. Thank you. And I you killed it. it. Yeah. And I I, yeah. That. So it was fun working with you on that project too. And just to see you shine. Mm-hmm. And um, so yeah. So big things are coming mm-hmm. for you. So just keep going. I appreciate <laughs> that. Most definitely. That's love. That's love right there. Like um I seen an intense scene with a, a mutual friend of a brother. Well, he's my brother's brother. Um and comedian, uh, Desi Forty Eighteen. I remember you had a intense, I guess, breakup scene with him mm. in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was a different level. Like, how was that? I was working with him, and or, <sighs> and, and that scene. <laughs> It was fun because I don't think I really knew who Desi was mm-hmm. until I met him. And, you know, I'm not the type where it's just like, oh, my God, this is this is this person or whatever like that. Yeah, no, yeah, like yeah. we're all here for a goal. And what I loved about Desi was he didn't just show up and was just like, oh, I have this many followers and stuff like that. He never carried himself like that. Wow. He's a very humble individual. So I knew when he got on set and we rehearsed it and we did it. It was just like, I can tell he was really passionate about it. And I've seen that in the other things that he's done as well, especially, you know, when we had the other scenes in Risky Business, when I had to see him again. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, for him to just give me my flowers on set and be like, you know, you my on-screen wife and stuff like that. I love working with you and stuff like that. So it just makes me feel good, you know, knowing that that person sees me and, you know, I've supported him. I went out to one of his shows and the love and everything was just there. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, but that scene was definitely intense. Um, especially when meeting somebody like that for the first time, you gotta cuss them out. Oh, that was, like, wow. <laughs> you know, it's it's yeah. it's gonna always be awkward whether you're cussing somebody out, or whether right. you're having a sex scene exactly. with them, and that's your first right. time meeting right. them. <laughs> like, it's it's just like, but you know, we got it done. I think we did that in like two takes. Yeah. And um, and yeah, and he, yeah, he impressed me that day, and I would work with him anytime. Yeah. Yeah. It, is it all? Yeah. Like. I always pop that, like, yeah, do a do a sex thing. I was like, how do y'all? Because, you know, it's so, it's supposed to be intimate, but it's not. It's too, mm-hmm. <laughs> right. unless it's a closed set and they just close it off. <laughs> and then it's like, that looks a little bit too familiar. That don't look too fake. <laughs> it's right, like, right. It's like, so it's like, how, how awkward is that to, to do a, a sex thing, like, especially with a stranger or even like a mutual home, like you said, like, because y'all were. And for all the sin, right? Love interest, kind. Of, so how how was that? <sighs> okay, so like kissing your brother, kissing your sister. <laughs> I mean, if anything is is <laughs> you you have to remember like when you're in it, you're not you. You're yeah. that person. Yeah. Like all that just goes out the window. Mm-hmm. Now, if I don't particularly care for the person, it's like my body starts tensing <clears throat> up, and I'm like, all right, now chill out. It's not you. You right. got to wear a whole other skin. So you get over it because now you're embodying that person. You get the job done. Mm-hmm. But I would say when it comes to people who are my brothers, going back to Awesome, yeah. and I did the movie Gaslight. Gaslight, yeah. Man, <laughs> and that no. was the most intense sex scene I've ever done in my life. And it was, <laughs> wait, <laughs> it was, it was one of those, like, I got to do what? <laughs> um, and then just like figuring out how you're going to do it. And then just being very vulnerable. You saw it? No, no, no. I didn't see it. Oh, well. I didn't see it. Watch it. It changed yeah, your life. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, it was... Um, Gas like... Yeah, Watch like, you. so the different shots that we had to do where I'm, like, on top. And I'm looking like... I'm like, I have no bra on. <laughs> I'm, like, straddling this person that's supposed to be my brother. But it was cool because we had a female um, director on set, Michelle. And uh, she knows how to shoot things very beautifully and make it appealing to the eye and being very, like... This is not going to be like a porno. This is going to be a passionate right. thing. Yeah. And you need that perspective because unfortunately there are a lot of guy directors who are just like, 
Yeah, you know, right. Yeah, just yeah, make but it. yeah, but just the woman session. eye is like, no, this is what it's supposed to look like. So I felt very safe doing that, yeah. especially when we had to have like, you know, a shower scene. Um, and then another scene where we're supposed to be like, like, you know, at my house. And that's the big intense sex thing that everybody texted me about for days. Um, <laughs> it was like, um, ma'am. And then yeah. my boyfriend at the time, he sat there and he watched it with me. Yeah. And um, apparently I did a phenomenal job because Ooh. it caused some insecurities. So I, tap on the back because that means I did my job. Yeah. But, but he was like, uh-uh. Because uh, that sounds like you and we, uh-uh. Uh, yeah, why yeah, would you why, the most... why I see your behind? Right. Why I see, uh-uh. Right. What's going y'all, on? Y'all too close. But but yeah, but yeah. Why you let him... <laughs> Why you let him do that? That's yeah. what I do. Uh, That's yeah, what I do. Yeah. All right. And I'm, you don't like, him. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, like like we're naked, but you gotta like, you know, I guess position, the camera, position yeah. it yeah. a certain way and have your clothing and stuff a certain way. Mm-hmm. So that way those things don't, don't touch. Right. right. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, I would just say like going back to it, it was very intense because I'm just like. I got to do this with my, you know, mm-hmm. this person that's like my brother. Right. But like when you're in it and you're both professionals, it just like goes out the door. Mm-hmm. So when we were done with it, it was so funny. We like high five each other. So I was like, yeah, yeah. we did that. <laughs> and, but yeah, it was something that a lot of people was like calling us and texting us about for weeks because right. they was like, that scene was, was something. Yeah. So yeah, but if you guys ever want to check it out, that site on TV. <laughs> check it out. There you go. Because um, I, Another just correlate with that, like, are y'all familiar with uh, Satima, the show? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yep. you know how, uh, I forget, it. oh, Crystal and um, Zach, well, what is his name? Um, what is it? It starts with a D. Starts with a D. Anyway, they're real friends and like, that's his, God, that's the, the godmother to his kids. Oh, oh okay. okay. I got you. And they... Okay. Yeah. So team they, they, yeah. They, you know, they, I didn't know that. Yo had her in the shower and the, the, the yeah. yeah, I was just like and you gotta take it and then your wife, you know, See? that's yeah. your your wife's best friend. I'm that's that's like, a little close. Yo, hey, that. like you said, that's when the like the spouse or the, the boyfriend, girlfriend, that's when I'll be like, I know it's professional, mm. but it's like a uh, little 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 chink in the armor, I'll be like, ah, yeah, just to see that. Can girl. I say something about that? Um, because <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I've experienced this quite a lot in you know, in my acting life. Mm-hmm. Um, you have got to have someone who. How can I put this? Understands. Not just understands, but is supportive of what you do. All right. Um, because they knew that when they first met you, right. and then you yeah, get yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. who. You know, want to see what it's about, want to mm-hmm. be involved. And then when they have to actually sit there and see the work, mm-hmm. it becomes a whole other thing where they're like, oh, hold on, wait a minute. And sometimes you have to be very cautious with that because, you know, it either turns into a jealousy thing. It can turn into, you know, an insecurity thing. So it's like you really have to have those conversations with your partner to say, hey, this is the scene that I'm doing. This is what's required. You know, it's no disrespect, but I'm just letting you know, hey, this is something that I have to do. Um, And they have to be on board with it. But I have seen, and mostly women, and I've had talks with my guy, you know, my male actor friends who say, yeah, I didn't see Shorty come back to the set because her boyfriend wanted to come on the set or, you know, had something to say. And I'm like, at the end of the day, this is what you did. Yeah. And if you take it seriously and this is your passion and you got to go, you have to have a partner that's understanding. that needs to go on that ride with you and knows how right. to disassociate it from, you know, this is just acting as opposed to, oh, that was yeah. real. That was porn in my eyes. Yeah. So I say all that to say that if that person can't do that and, and just say, okay, well, when you're watching these movies with these people, it's the same thing, but I understand it is different because it's your partner in the scene, mm-hmm. but you've got to have a backbone in that yeah. to say, you know what? It is what it is. I'm proud of my partner. <clears throat> yeah. And you know, as long as I don't, you know, ain't nothing else going on, I'm good. Yeah. And, yeah. I, I got you. Mm-hmm. I, like I said, I would feel a little chain in the arm, but then also I'd be like, yo. But that's when you need to check gr- yourself. No, 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 yeah. no, yeah, no. Like I said, it's, it's a duality. So mm-hmm. it's like, I'd be like, oh, then I'd be like, that's my girl. Like, like that, the real thing happened when she come over. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. The real, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? That's the end of the And I think that's why a lot of actors date, you know, each other because they get it, yeah, and, yeah, it's, right, and it's hard yeah, dating somebody who doesn't get it. But yeah, mm-hmm. but if you know, you actually just have like those conversations and understand this is just what I get paid to do. I get paid to lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, 
That's all it is. I'm, I'm paying to entertain people. And if you, and again, if you can't disassociate that from porn yeah. Yeah. to film, then this is not going to last. Yeah, we get paid yeah. to, you know, make it believable. So yeah. y'all believe it. Yeah. Y'all, I mean, y'all see the images and things of that nature. And, um, you know, the ego kicks in. Mm -hmm. But um, if you know, like, the work that actually goes into it, because before, the, you know, the you know we actually go into the scene, it's like, you know, it's pre-production. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's the, the actors actually going over, you know, what they feel comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you know, what don't they feel comfortable doing. So, you know, everything is gauged by that. And um, that's how they kind of create those scenes. So it's not like, you know, you can just grab anything. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It, you might, you know, one actress might not, don't, don't grab my butt. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can, you know, do other angles and things of that nature yeah. to make it seem like, you know, we're having a very, you know, good time. But in all actuality, you know, I'm just grabbing the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Making sure I'm, I'm grabbing it. I'm making <laughs> it look sexy on this back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's just how they do it. And, you know, and all the, the, the communication that goes with both of the actors or being on one page and also the director and everybody else in, in production. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of acting and relationships, um, shout out to black women for uh, coming to the aid of black men in their time of distress, <laughs> even though they go the other way with why he take girls. Jonathan Majors and, and Megan, do you believe that relationship? No. <laughs> uh, thank that, you. Thank that's, you. That's, that's Coretta. <laughs> thank and you. And I hope that you can zoom in on his face absolutely, when I say absolutely. that is his correct no okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> no you go ahead no. on, I was like, <laughs> I and then if anything you gotta watch out for that because yeah it's one thing to stand behind your person but it's a whole other thing when it disrupts what you got going on too That's true, and too. I don't think you know like we love her for the culture you know we've been riding with her since day one mm -hmm. but baby I don't believe it. I don't. Yeah, I was just like, do you yeah. believe it? I, yeah. Me personally, uh -uh. I don't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> but that's just correct. Right. Okay, I, I just want to be and the stop, devil's advocate. And stop using Coretta <laughs> as a prop. Like, like her, who was her granddaughter or daughter? Somebody was like, don't use Coretta as a prop. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, I, that that was just like that was stood out to me. That's why I always like repeat it because it's like Coretta, like out of everybody. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. Like, I mean, you know Michelle Obama, you know things of that nature, but. Um, yeah, correct. Yeah. And I think it's just like the image, just to keep up the image. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like he is with this, this you know, yeah. black I think, woman. I think Cat Williams said the best, you know, no, no offense uh, to Jay Majors, but uh, literally he looked like he got the off out of the cast of Amistad. I'm sorry. He <laughs> looked like Dust Bowl, uh, uh, oh. Jackie Robinson story man he he is a very yes sir ball hey he, uh, he's a very stuff. old man <laughs> an old young man this dude is like 34. I'm sorry. <laughs> i know no i know he's trying to, yeah i'll try to break it. i'm trying to break it. yeah i know he's trying to break it. Yeah, <laughs> but this, this dude is like 34 he looks like hurts. 40. i know i'm sorry i'm trying so hard not to holler <laughs> I'm like, no 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 that's what we do no, no disrespect to my man jay majors no no no, 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 no <laughs> I'm just like, I'm dead. I'm uh, dead. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and you know what make it bad? I was one of those women who actually thought he was attractive. Oh. I know, I know. Don't look at me, y'all. I can it's, feel y'all eyes. It's all good. It's all look, good. it was, uh, what was it, Lovecraft Country? Absolutely. Yeah. I was like, you know, I was attracted to the, body. the talent, the, the body, the body. It's the body. Yeah, it's he was cut out there. And, so, you know, just to see this black man excel in his, like, you know, his work, you know, yeah, exactly. like, in He is a very talented role. actor. Yeah. Like, yeah. Very talented. Definitely giving him props for the, uh, uh, like, dissipating or immersing yourself in that character because it seemed like if they said cut, he was still in that character. Mm. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I definitely feel like he, he definitely got where you like, you don't even see Jonathan Majors, whatever. What was his? Uh, Pitt? That's what his name was? It? Yeah. Yeah, love the right country, but yeah. I understand. I mean, we all get them. I mean, it's funny. <laughs> and, and you know this cliche, you know, nobody specifically, but somewhere in your friend group or somebody associate, you know, uh -oh. <laughs> a dude that got a girl pregnant that's not that attractive, but the body was... The body was body. <laughs> the body was and body. Was like, she's like a six, but the body maker like a nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Same thing with a dude, like she's like you know, 
Uh, yes, um, I have seen many of these situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Just remember, it's not her body that's gonna raise your kids. That's all I gotta say. It's what's in that mind. It's the mind. So, uh, you know, I uh, I pre warned you. So, speaking of situations, Miss uh, Massage Therapist. So, <laughs> when you had the massage dude that looked like the dude from uh, had the split personalities with Ed Norton. What's that movie? <laughs> oh, you talking about uh, 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 what's that uh, Fight Club? No, that no, wasn't Fight Club. It was something else. But the dude, he was bald headed. Oh uh, no, that's Split. You talking about James McAvoy? Yeah, that's James McAvoy. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. It wasn't split. Yeah, it was an M. Night Shyamalan film. Yeah, and he had the multiple personalities, and he trapped the girls. He was bald. He was a bald dude. Yeah. Not, 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 not James McAvoy split. It was another dude. He looked like the guy that you was massaging and and risky business, but he was multiple personality. In his mind, he was like a thirteen year old girl. He was a serial killer. He was a like a youth pastor. Oh man, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, oh my god, I think I know you. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. But James Rackable, yeah, um, I know you. But uh, yeah, how'd you, how'd you, uh, how'd you hold your your countenance and and not break? First of all, they, you gotta see it because the guy. Ah. Oh god. Is he, like what? <laughs> Monica was getting paid to do a job, and Monica Gosh, did her job. But a lot of baby oil. A lot of baby oil. Excessive like, baby like, oil. <laughs> <laughs> More baby oil. I, I should have been. I'm talking you know, about like John, a bottle Johnson. like this yes. full. <laughs> I was just like, because I was looking at you, and you were like, every time, it seemed like every time you asked for it later on, like after a minute, you were just like, if this dude asked me to put more baby oil on him one more time. That, that's what that's what that's what it's you like, look like her, her spirit was just uh, like, breaking right, right. her spirit was just breaking but behind the scenes like the guy was very flirtatious with me he was like oh, yeah wow. yeah what? Uh, yeah he looked like, like that, to little... the point where my director had to be like are you okay um i was like yeah i'm fine but yeah he was very flirtatious yeah. you know he said you know I'm not gonna put him too much okay. out there but he wanted to take a picture with me and say yeah i'm gonna show this to my friends um, I'm like, okay, and you know, I hate to say this, but sometimes as black women, we just have to say to ourselves, I'm not a fetish. Like, why is this coming off like a, mm. like a fetish yeah, almost? Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. That's but yeah, crazy. I was just like, okay, but you know, he was nice. I guess he meant well or whatever, but yeah, in the, in the moment. Mad uncomfortable. It was, yeah, I felt a little uncomfortable, yeah, yeah, um, to say the least. But yeah, to have to like pretend to do this and putting oil in, in, Everything like that, yeah. I think in the mind of Monica, you just felt so like degraded, and your soul is like just leaving yourself. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a lot of people hit me up about that scene too. <laughs> mm. And uh, you know, but yeah, but behind the scenes, it was just like a yeah. This must you know be what Monica feels. You know, being around somebody who's like looking at you like that in a certain way, mm. and then you know while you're in the scene doing it, and in between takes. You're straddling this person. Why am I always straddling people? But I'm straddling this person. Yeah, right. He's got all this stuff on him. And let's just say you can tell in this this man's mind that he was living his ultimate Best black night. girl on me fantasy. Mm -hmm. That's right. what that felt like. That's, That's crazy. crazy. But yeah. So you're yeah. an actor and you, yeah. you keep yeah, going. Yeah, he was he definitely <laughs> perved out though. He was he was he was perved out because I was just like, uh, I know it's uh, but like the more baby oil and then it's just like I hope she don't get kidnapped. <laughs> right, right, right. What is going on here? Man, but I, but very every time he said it, and like I seen, like, like I just noticed. I know it, it just looked like you were agitated, even though you were acting. I was just like, because Monica just wanted to get it over. Right, is that? And right. I was like, same girl, same. Girl. Right, right, right. You straddling the whole time. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's crazy how you can kind of like, okay, all right. Some semi connect with you know your character that you, you mm -hmm. go into, and that's how you get like more into it. So, um, but just giving you your flowers, bro. Like all the roles that you you do, you, you can see it. Like you put like everything into it. Thank you. And like just being on set with you, and you know just seeing the process and how you you know approach every scene is is just is is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Thank every you. time I see you, it's just like oh, a big love. Like damn no, you know what I mean? Like I, 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 it's just. Like, we, we got to. We got to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, but no, most definitely. Like, you do your thing. I'm Thank proud you. Of you. And it's, and it's, it's uh, more to come. More Thank to come. you. Most I appreciate definitely. it. So, is your, um, 
is your dream role still or one of the uh, roles you'd like to knock out? You still want to be a female vampire? Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Because I love, I love, I can see you, that. Y'all understand. I can definitely see that. Y'all don't understand. When I was a kid. It's Twilight. No. no Queen, okay. <laughs> Queen of the Bam. <laughs> no, when I was a kid, my parents introduced me to horror and sci-fi, oh, okay. and I think my first horror film was The Exorcist. Right. Oh, wow, and okay. uh, you figure yeah, like the fourth, how first long? Horror film? Yeah, how how old were you? I would think probably like eight or nine or something like that. Yeah, because because my parents loved horror and sci-fi <laughs> right, too. Right, right. And and I think my dad was like, she tough, she she, she got this. <laughs> And but I wasn't scared of anything from it. If anything, I was just like this, like the ah, whole time. That's cool. And that's I guess cool. it. I mean, look at what I'm doing now. Right, like right, it, right. it fascinated me, mm -hmm. and the fact that you know that role was so taboo. It was like you know they've never seen that before. It right. really pushed the boundaries, especially right. when it comes exactly. to religion. Yeah. But you know they went for it, and you know just seeing like these different roles. And the reason why I love sci-fi horror so much is because if it's done right, you get a story, you get action, you get romance. You get comedy. You can get all these things in one. Right. But mm -hmm. it's in a fantasy world. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, I've always had, like, a fascination with, like, vampires, like, since Underworld, Queen of the Damned, and, you know, yeah. things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and to see Aaliyah, like, you know, for me the first time, I, I think it was probably, like, Sonali, like, then, like, she was probably, like, the first black female vampire in Blade, in Blade. for me. Right. Yeah. But, but to see Aaliyah embody that role yeah. and mm -hmm. how she did it effortlessly. And mm -hmm. she was you know, sexy and alluring and like all these things. And I was like, I would love to play a vampire. And then one of my favorite shows was True Blood. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in the way that they pushed the boundaries for that, it's like that show had to walk in order for Game of Thrones and them to sprint for me. Like, wow, because okay. they really pushed those boundaries right. with like storytelling. And again, you've got all these different genres right. in this yeah. show. Yeah. So I think that's why I love sci-fi and horror so much. But yes, my ultimate, ultimate dream would to be like, a vampire or like an alien or something yeah what about you bro man um i think I, let's see <laughs> I, I probably would like to be like a superhero you know mm. what i'm saying i would definitely like to be that uh like that miles morales you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying or um you know, uh, maybe go to DC side, be the first you know black green lantern you know what i'm saying oh. never seen a black green lantern yeah. before um, but yeah, I definitely want to do a superhero though. Like I, you know, I just grow, grew up, you know, with Spider-Man and mm -hmm. things of that nature. So I thought, thought it always would be cool, you know, mm -hmm. just to be swinging through the streets, and, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, right. yeah, that'd be cool. Cool stuff. What about like a, a espionage character? I would love that. Espionage character, like a, a character that, you know, devises and plans right. a heist and, you know, well, I, I would like, love to do that. I say- like Ocean's Eleven and- well, I was thinking, well, it, that, that works, but I was thinking, like, uh, James Bond, Jason Bourne, mm. kind of oh, okay. yeah. character, kind of, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm trying to get at um, now, like, that I'm getting into more, like, martial art films and things of that nature. Because yeah, one right. of the, the films that I was working on in Atlanta is um, a martial arts film, it's called Lucia. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and I only did one stunt, man, it was just, just the fall. Yeah, but, I know, I remember. But, um... You know, I, I'm trying to get trained up to do like more like martial arts work mm -hmm. and actually do a fight scene. So mm -hmm. my my goal is to do a fight scene in the next. You know, did you want to fight? Did I want to fight? Yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know yet. Right. I didn't get the script yet. So, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know what I mean? So yeah, you'll see when I when I come out. <laughs> so good, though. It's all good. Oh, yeah, that's a cool role too. Because um, I just got casted for. Uh, a role like that, like a superhero okay. type thing, and it's supposed to be like an all female cast. That's cool. So that's yeah, dope. that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm not gonna talk too much, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, about yeah, it because right. it's in the works. But right, yeah, right. I'm excited about that too. Cool. So, yeah. So. Um, I thought it was gonna be like some hard hitting things. Or oh, is he about to get into that? I'm scared. Wait. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Um, <laughs> the best is yet to go. Right. Oh, he got a whole list. Oh shit! Yep. <laughs> well, it's a little bit. But it's a, this one is a little. Uh, nah, nah, it's mild. It's still mild. <laughs> top three celebrity crushes. You can go first. Ah, <laughs> top three celebrity <laughs> crushes. Man, this is hard. Okay. Um, what's an eye like? Because I mean, she's just beautiful in my eyes. 
ever since love basketball. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Y'all gonna get me for this one, but Scarlett Johansson. I don't know why, That's but okay. I, I like her. She's bomb. She's bomb, man. Uh, I, I love her. She's a very beautiful um, white woman. Um, <laughs> yeah, white, white. White, white. throw for that one. I look. I'll walk yeah, in. She be. She be. She be. She, she, she built nice. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, damn, got a got the point. Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, man. You want me to expand it to five or just keep it three? Pick the per- keep no, three the is good because I got my three. Oh, you got your three? <laughs> I think, I think uh, it's hard because it's a couple of, like, the woman that I grew up on was, was Curry Hilson. Curry Hilson okay. was definitely mm-hmm. the bad boy mm-hmm. growing up on. Like, so I, I, I think I make her my third. That, that'd be All my third. Right. All right, so I got two lists. My male list and my female list. So... <laughs> My female list, hands down, you never gonna change my mind. Tiana Taylor. Oh, dang, I ain't know, I didn't even do that. Oh, man. I ain't even think about that. <laughs> that is the most stunning woman to me. I listen, like her I features, I love mind. broad yeah. features that she had, like, her features are just strong. Like, her body, oh, yeah, like, she has strong. Yeah, she's beautiful. She, she has, she's uh, she's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's super a, talented. Like I love her. Yeah. So you, if you met her, not the answer, but if you met her in person, would you kind of? Well, through? now that I know she into girls, hell yeah, I would say I would, I would definitely shoot my shot. I like her. <laughs> um, the second one would be going into white women, Megan Fox. Mm. Okay, that, that's I don't not, know that's what it bad. is. Like that's the no. like besides Scarlett Johansson, mm-hmm. like that's the only white woman that I'm like like yeah. Yeah, I think she's stunning. It. Yeah, most definitely. And in three, who does it for me? I would say Zoe Zaldana. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like her looks, her talent, everything. Um, my male list. This is always changing. Oh, and this is bad. Um, my male list would be. I don't know. I always have like this thing for Tom Hardy, the one that plays Venom. Yeah, okay. like, yeah. I yeah. like yeah. him yeah. <laughs> a lot. Um. Then there is, I would say, I'm about to butcher his name, Denzel Washington's son. Oh, John David. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, John David yeah, Washington. Yes, yep. yes. Um, and number three, this is tough because this is always changing too. Now I regret not having a five. Um, I would say number three for me right now would be um, Jeremy Allen. Jeremy Allen uh, White, the one that plays in The Bear. Have y'all okay, seen The Bear? Okay, Jeremy Allen White. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know he, what he it is. He played in... Uh, Shameless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shameless was too. Yep, yeah, yep. in Shameless. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know what it is. It's just something about like, their talent, how they carry themselves. Um, and then, like you know, like I said, I like broad features. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, those are my top three. Okay. I'm still trying. The Bear is the Bear. The Bear is good like both seasons are so good they was uh they, they be cooking in the kitchen right and they be cussing each other the hell out like the the show is so good yeah I, i've never personally saw the show but i know exactly like that because he he played on um was it kick kick a kick kick ass or something like that now that's uh Aaron Taylor Johnson and I like him too. Oh, but man, since we okay, can only okay, have a top okay, three. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But, okay. but yeah. But they kinda look the same because I I think he's playing um I was about to say it's a Marvel character. Right, right. He's mm-hmm. for Craven, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Craven. Mm-hmm. That, that, that thing looked good too. Yeah, I recently got asked this. Have you ever slid in the DMs of any of No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh man, no, I'm not slid in DMs. I don't want to be accused of that later on in my life. That part, that part. They're going to find this one DM, bro. Uh-huh. I'm like, hey, that was from 2024. Mm-hmm. It is 2044. It's about 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. But then, just say if you ever meet them in real life, you can run that line back. You can run that line. You can run it back. You run it back. Nah, if it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. If I'm meant to see this person, you know, in person, yeah. Then, then yeah. But other than that, no. Can't have Jeremy because he married and got a kid. Can't have Tom Hardy because I don't know. What, I think he married and got a kid. And then John David, I don't know what that situation is. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I don't want to ever be the person to be like, hey, I know you're married. I know you got right, kids. Right, right. But I'm going to shoot my shot. Yeah, like, you know. Can't make yourself a side chick. Mm-mm. Uh, well, break up the happy home. That part, yeah. <laughs> Even if it ain't happy, mm-hmm. stay out of it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
Did any of y'all get to see any of the uh, latest Chappelle shows? No. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, when I call like, The Dreamer right yeah. now? I didn't get to see that yet. Uh, uh, never mind. Well, it, it's funny. Like, the, I'm not going to spoil it. The opening is a killer. And then he's, he transitions midway and is like, see, y'all thought I could only talk about, you know, the, the, the alphabet people. He's like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm deeper than that. I talk about handicapped people now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! No, but I'll tell you a comedy show that did it for me. That Cat Williams interview. Oh no, yeah, that, that was a comedy show for me. That was definitely mm -hmm. a comedy show. Like he, he put everybody out there. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, the the mm -hmm. expose comedy yeah. and, and, mm -hmm. and and reveal. Like, <laughs> reveal like nothing but um, but gems and, and mm -hmm. facts and things of that nature. Shout out to Cat Williams. <sighs> Man, like, mm. <laughs> I'm still sick, Do y'all like um? <laughs> do you like plays or movies? Uh, play, yeah, play doing plays or, or movies better. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I get that question a lot because I started out in plays. Mm -hmm. So it's like 2017 with Rise and Games. Um, because I'm a part of her Kuma Ensemble. Mm -hmm. Um. I love plays because it keeps you on your toes and it makes you, you know, you can be one hell of an improv person if you know what you're doing mm -hmm. yeah, um, and know definitely. how to bring it back mm -hmm. in order for your character to, to come in or your or the person that knows what you're supposed to say can like bring it back to you in some type of way. Yeah. I, I, I love it. You feel the energy from the audience. Mm -hmm. um, it's a whole different type of skill as it is on film because film, I get a lot of people before, you know, I started doing film say, I can never do plays because, you know, if I mess up, I want to be able to start again. I said, but being in a play teaches you a whole different skill set because when you do get on film, you know not to mess up. Mm -hmm. Or you know, or you know how to bring yourself back around to, it, or you know not to waste somebody's time. Right. Um, when you get there, because you want to be well prepared for your scene. And I was like, we're all human. We're all gonna like mess up that one time and go get granted. It's on film. But well, let's just say digital, because if it was on actual film, then you're really wasting somebody's time. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. that film yeah. is like yeah. precious. Yeah. So you yeah. really gotta like know, like you know, just basically know your stuff before you get on there. But yeah, I, I say I have a love for both <clears> because I've done both. But I just, I just really love plays. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, okay. So just adding on uh, to what you're saying about you know basically having a love for both. I I started out in plays as well, mm -hmm. um, doing uh, Shakespeare, mm -hmm. Commedia d'arte, and um, August Wilson. So um, I I love like you know just the immediate satisfaction. You know what I'm saying? Like with film, you never know whether the the film is actually going to be good until mm -hmm. you know you get to the screening or you get to um, it being, you know, streamed on a platform and things of that nature. So, and then you, you know, have people calling you there, you know, or, you know, just texting you like, oh, this is so good, things of that nature. Like with plays, it's just, you, you get that immediate sense, especially like, ooh, like, you know, mm -hmm. like, and then it puts you more into the moment because now you're feeding off of the audience. So I love that relationship that you share with the audience. And also, it does make you sharper um, as an actor on film because you got to know your lines cold. You gotta know your lines cold, and you're you're better with um, your body. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So as far as film, so well, so when I got first into film, you know I'm moving all over the place. So I'm like, no, like you're in this frame. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. So you get to challenge yourself more because you're using like just your face to kind of convey, you know, the the scene, or mm -hmm. you're using just your your mid level to kind of convey. You don't see the you know the other other half. So it's just like it's challenging in a way when you're doing film. Um, <clears throat> But I love uh, I love plays because you just get that immediate mm -hmm. satisfaction. You also get to you know I say it's practice for mm -hmm. film, so you get that you get that practice for film. So mm -hmm. I love plays. Yeah, I was gonna say I, do you ad lib sometimes the play? Oh. It depends. Yeah. I mean, I know you know the the script pretty much, like but like you know throw. It, it depends because. You're going to have a playwright that says, I want this line for line. Right. It's just like exactly. with, you know, yeah. the, the, you know, the writer for the film. I want this line for line. Don't, you know, deviate from that. Don't segue from that. But when you have a writer that says, I'm not married to the script. I just want you to just do your lines. And if you add a little something into it, and if it works, great. Right. Do it again the next night. 
you know, or, you know, do something different the next day. They always just keep it interesting. So when you get that creative freedom, yeah, you get to play around and stuff a little bit, but you don't want to stray too far much because you don't want to throw the other person off. Exactly, right. Um, right. But if you can feed off each other, then, then yeah, that's great. But, but yeah, no, me, I like to just be like by the book unless, you know, my, my writer or director says, hey, let's try this, mm-hmm. you know, for it. Um, or just have fun. Yeah. So yeah, that's the only time where I will, like ad lib. But other than that, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Since we're speaking on crushes, just say you got a hall pass. Just. Oh, I ain't date nobody, so I don't need no hall pass. Oh, I know. What I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what if I was dating someone? But go ahead. <clears throat> if I was. <laughs> All right. Just say, mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you run across. Is, is the hall pass the same as your, your, your time crushes? So you ran across Tiana like, hey, hey, um, babe, uh, I'm gonna need a favor. <laughs> you know, uh, you taking that opportunity? That's that's tough. I mean, do I really want to use my hall pass? Just I, I don't know. No, no, hold on. <laughs> I mean, if I ran past Tiana Taylor and we was vibing like that, or or John, or, or it, it don't matter, yeah. Then, then yeah, but I don't know. It would have to really be worth it. Like, if I just get like this one hall pass, and I'm like, we ain't gonna handle no arguments and stuff about it the next day or whatever. Then I don't know. Okay, maybe Tiana. Mm. Yeah, maybe Tiana. She seemed like she would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, y'all know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I, 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 based I, off her I, interviews, y'all know exactly mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. But yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Um, what would be first of all, I'll pass. Scarlett Johansson. You know what? It definitely would be Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> I you feel like it would be. be. She kind of ran my mind though. On that. It's that, like, I, I just think that's exotic for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I was like, you know what? Let me try that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let, me, let me try the milk for a you know, just, uh, just a couple days. You know what I'm saying? Try the milk. Uh, just until it spoils. You know what I'm saying? Just, and then the go milk. back. It'd be fun. <laughs> milk, milk is fun. <laughs> Don't knock it. Don't knock it. <laughs> Now when it become crazy. Yeah. <laughs> now you gotta slide it to the left. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, oh Dr. God. Umar right now is not right. right. Yeah. <laughs> um, Excuse me, right. <laughs> brother. <laughs> Let me tell you. That's you. <laughs> you can have anybody you you gonna pick her. Right, right. Oh, yeah, it ain't bad. It, it definitely ain't a bad choice. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Like, well, I would, yeah, that would definitely be fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. All right. Um. Well, it's getting late. This, 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 it's been fun. I ain't, I ain't gonna. Uh, we'll, we'll run it back. I, 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 like I said, I just kept it. Dang, I'm waiting for the heavy stuff. Nah, nah, I ain't, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna do it this time. Dang. <laughs> not just one. Not one. Not something to leave the people with. I'm going to instantly regret it as soon as he asked. He's like, you know what? Uh, on yeah, the contract. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Uh, yeah, I'll think of something next time. Yeah, they're not really having. But it's been it's been about an hour and some change. And, um, hey, like, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, it, was, it was cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks for uh, watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Most definitely. Um, I say... The biggest takeaway, people, uh, to meeting to meeting phenomenal people and adding them in your life is uh, be be you, but be unique. I mean, have something that stands out about you. Um, when you go on set, uh, just kill it in the background. You'll get noticed. <laughs> I'm just I'm tired. They had a call cut. I, I was killing. I was killing. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, I was there. You know, uh, you know, this lovely lady. She she interrupted a couple, couple of my scenes. She walked past, and you know, I had to get myself together because you know, in my role, I had to talk to somebody that wasn't there. I mean, just straight airspace having conversation. So. Uh, uh, you know, I tapped into my, my greatness. It made it look just seamless. 
organic. It's what I do. Um, I also look good doing it. That's enough. Look good. There you go, brother. There um, you go. Let me see. Uh, the uh, uh, well, of course, plugging them again. Catch them in Black Therapy, Red Line, For All of Sin, uh, what Gaslight. Was, uh, Gaslight, ga- Gaslight. Add that to the list. Risky business. Risky, Risky business. business. Uh, sweet dreams. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and other things to come. Um, I don't know anything y'all want to add. Um, I just want to, you know, just give my my flowers to to both of y'all here, man. Mm-hmm. E, doing your doing your thing with the podcast and um, you know, just elevating. Um, it's a new year, so um, you know, it's new things. That's going to be happening. New things coming up. Just you know, just pray for the peace and blessings for both of y'all. And, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, it's been fun. It's always fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love being on the show. Every time I get my you know haircut, I'll be like, Yo, E, you know, you coming out with a new joint? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you gonna put me on, man? But um, yeah, just keep on doing your thing, man. For real. Actually, I got a closing. It's a it's a story time. What you do? It's kind of uh, let's go. Kind of uh, coincides with the, the six brown chick story. Like, you know, the Six Brown Chicks podcast. So it's basically like, oh, okay, okay, okay. What would you do in a scenario that's just seems like out of worldly? Like, that can't be a real situation that somebody put their self in. Right, right. Mm. All right, so. All right. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, just a, uh, I use, like to use uh, Alias Chavez from a, um, just because it's random. So, so uh, Chavez, uh, let's, let's say Chavez and, and Miranda. No, Chavez and Maria. Keep it, keep it Hispanic. Keep it Hispanic. <laughs> <laughs> Chavez and Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maria. Chavez and, and Maria have been together, just say a long time, three years or something like that. Okay. Uh, Maria hits the point in her life uh, getting close to 30 where she feels like because, oh, Chavez and Maria have been together for three years, excuse me, backstory, been together for three, well, more than three years. Just say high school sweethearts, we'll use that. High school sweethearts. Uh, have a kid together. Uh, everything's going fine. But then Maria or Chavez just say, you know what? Things are getting kind of mundane. I feel like I haven't lived life. I feel like I haven't lived life. So uh, they're still living together. Okay. Still living together. Uh, Maria loses her job mm. and still living with Chavez, mm-hmm. but they're split. So they're living together, split apart. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> living Damn, together, split apart. That's the worst <laughs> right. type of situation. Man. So okay. they're both doing their thing, but it's awkward because, you know, he's going on dates, she's going on dates. Mm-hmm. Kids still at the house. See mommy with a new dude. See oh, daddy with a new yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, uh, uh, that's tough. So uh, while they're exploring, she gets... She gets jealous because the dudes she's messing with basically are just smash partners. Like, mm-hmm. there's no substance there at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but Chavez is finding something serious. So she starts, you know, sabotaging his dates. And, like, whenever he's on the phone or something, whatever, like, who are you talking to? Because, mind you, they're still living together. Right. Mm-hmm. So every time Chavez has to explain, you know, we're not together. But we just live. We, we just living, but right. you know, we're moving, we're separating. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh one day, Chavez sees like she Maria went to the doctor. Uh saying she had to get a uh uh had some stomach problems. Why did she get an ultra ultrasound? Mm-hmm. Found that found out that she uh had gotten pregnant, but aborted it. Mm-hmm. But then had the nerve to later ask Chavez, you know, you think we will ever get back together again? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? So, um. And all that? And that. Either, you pick either side. Being the one that had the audacity. Uh, 
Yeah. Basically, like, yeah, mess up, get pregnant. Like, it could be either, but, you know, the guy could have got a girl pregnant. So either what, either side you pick. What would y'all do in that situation? Because hmm. she still wants to get, of course, like I said, they separated. Mm. But after dating, was like, well, what I have here is better than anything I found out right. when I got pregnant or same thing with the dude. Right. I went out. She looks nice, but ain't nothing there. I got her pregnant, but I went out. My son's mom back, my my daughter, my kid's mom back. Oh man, what do y'all do? There's so much I can say about this issue. Yeah, right, right, right. 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 It's it's a explore more. It's mm -hmm. This is close out. Yeah. It's juicy. Okay, all right. So my first problem is, girl, you don't even have a job. Why are you so fixated on going on dates? <laughs> and then clearly, you don't have no life of your own that you're trying to sabotage the dates that he's going on. Th three. As a woman, you should know to wrap up if you are going to have multiple partners to avoid pregnancy or transmitted diseases and stuff like this. So you lucky all you got was a pregnancy. Um, so my thing is, you know, okay, things didn't work out. But at the same time, as a woman, I have to ask, if you don't have a job, then who's paying the bills? Who's, who's paying the bills for the home? And yeah, you yeah, have the audacity to sabotage his dates and try to sabotage something that he has real going on. Y'all both amicably was just like, all right, we're going to split up. We feel like we haven't really lived life. Yes, we have kids. And on top of that, let's talk about the kids. What are you teaching them? Like, why, why do your kids see you bring in a new girl and a new guy? Mm -hmm. And if these guys are just smashing past, why are your kids? Am I missing something? Why are they even meeting these people? Yeah. Like, I'm that whoa yeah, yeah, yeah. and then for him you just can't be just introducing your kids to just anybody because that confuses the kids and now they're looking at it like what's going on here um exactly. but yeah but for me as a woman in that situation just me i would be more fixated on getting a new job trying to find you know my own apartment so that way i can have my own independence um at least like a two bedroom or something like that so that way the kids can come to me or if i have it you know like that or whatever like that i can get a new house whatever mm -hmm. set yourself up that way so that way you're not cohabitating with the person that you're trying to get divorced from and stuff like that. Um, and then exposing your kids to all of this. Um, but if I was him, now let's talk about him in this situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah why not would be introducing my, my kids to just any woman. Um, and then on top of that, especially, I don't even know, cause I don't know if I missed that part. Are y'all even having conversations before y'all? You know, bring this person over sure. or whatever. So that goes for both of them, but mostly towards him. I would be encouraging her to say, hey, like, can you help get a job? Can you help pay a bill or something like that? Because I see you got Schmo, Joe, Flo, and and, and, and you over here, ho, ho, ho. And, and, but yet, it's like you ain't bringing the bill. You know, you ain't paying no bills up in this house. Yeah. So you don't get to dictate who I talk to, who I get to see or anything unless you're contributing in some type of way. Um but yeah, but that whole situation just seems messy. Y'all both need to grow up because clearly, I, you know, you said they've been with each other three X amount of years and they high school sweethearts. Mm -hmm. So clearly there's a lot of immaturity going on there. Y'all both need to grow up. But if you, you know, if she came to you and say, hey, you know, you found out she was pregnant and she got an abortion or whatever like that. And she comes to you and say, hey, can we make it work? I would say if you want to make it work with her, then I think you guys need to go to the couple's counseling and really define what that looks like and then work on your marriage. But if it's not something that you want, then just be honest. Say, I don't want that. You know, I'm, I'm good over here. But let's talk about, you know, us just like selling the house, getting money from it. I get my half, you get your half and do what we need to do. But this cohabitating is not good for us mm -hmm. and it's not good for the kids. Yeah. And that's just me. Absolutely, that was thorough. Like, yeah, wow. yeah, you touched on it. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, yeah. it's just no, like... do you, you even want to follow that? Or are you good? <laughs> all, all I gotta say is, as far as relationships are concerned, because you just you, you yeah, tapped yeah. on everything. Absolutely, I love it. Everything. Yeah, Communication good. is the best medication mm -hmm. in, in relationships, hands down. Like, if you communicate, like, especially dealing with like a toxic relationship, if you like communicate, like, where you are at, at with it, because I mean, you may need. Like Tom made me space away from it, and I, I definitely would be that person. Like, nah, you know, I definitely need time, space away from it, so I can mature as a person. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and, and especially on you know the female side, she would definitely have to do you know the maturing. That, that mm -hmm. Also, so um, you know, basically what you just said, you know, she's sitting up yeah. in the house, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you got dude coming in, dude coming out. Yeah. We got kids seeing this, yeah. so it's just like it's, it's a lot. And, and not saying like they. Uh, 
because I kind of left it kind of vague. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, of course, they're not seeing them. Like right, going, right, right, but they, right. the kid just, notices. Yeah, like, they notice. Oh, like, they mommy see. and daddy are not together, but he's right. going out. She's going right. out. Yeah, kids know. Yeah, man. they know. Kid, kids smart. Right. And they one know. last thing that I have to say on this note. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, just calm down. No real man and no real woman is going to feel comfortable with you still living with your spouse. So, with all that being said, if he's going to take things seriously with this woman, I'm sure if she's a real woman, she would say to him, in order for us to move forward with this, the, you know, is the the divorce finalized or it's not? Or they just separated? Just separated. I'm going to need for them divorce papers to be signed. Papers. And I'm going to need for, you know, y'all to sell the house or anything like that. And I don't think that's a tall ask because... If I'm going to enter your world and knowing that you now have a baby mama, because that's what it's about to become, and you have kids, not a kid, plethora of kids, Mm -hmm. then yes, these are the things that I'm going to need to feel comfortable with us moving forward. Now, you can deal with an immature girl all day because all she's going to do is just get her rocks off of you, too, because she's just like, okay, he got his girl, you know, his baby mother at home, he got his kids, I'm just trying to do whatever I want to do, and that's about it. But a real woman is going to say, uh uh-uh. uh, mm-hmm. this is a mess. And if this one over here is still pining over you, but ain't really got her affairs in order, that that woman that you want is not gonna stay for too long. So you're really gonna have to grow up, put your big boy pants on, and make a decision. Because if this woman's coming to you saying, you know, yeah, I got knocked up and I got the abortion, but you know, I still want us to be together. Mm-hmm. Don't play in this woman's face. Mm-hmm. Don't stream this person along if this is what you want to stay in over here. So I say all that to say, know what you want. Stop playing with people. This is 2024. Stop playing with people. And if you know, and if you got some healing and stuff to do, work on that too. Most definitely. But yep. stop playing with people. Stop playing. And, get your and that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I had the spirit touched me. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, I was about to say, I was like, you went in the character. I felt that. And a, lot, and a lot of good people I've seen, especially right. me, have gotten the short end of the stick. Stop playing with people. Right. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. When I seen it, well, when the person that told me this, I was like, man, but girl, bye. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no running it back. I think it's dead. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, definitely. Yeah, no, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. no, absolutely not. It was nice knowing you. Yeah, we gotta hurry up and get this uh split uh, and yeah, find different domes out. Right, right, right. Man, I've seen worse situations. My god sister is friends with a girl. A guy was semi living with her. You know, they had a whole life and everything like that. But she found out on Facebook that he got married while they were together, has a whole separate life and stuff. So again. Stop what? playing with people. Yeah. Stop playing with people. Wow. Yeah. Now that's a real story for you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Had that's, a whole separate life. That's crazy. But I don't know how he did it. That was the most. I ain't never seen that, a man multitask that, like that in my life. That, that's a yes, dude right there, bro. That's living a... with this one, mm-hmm. but found out on Facebook because he ain't had no social media. But she found somehow on Facebook because I forgot if they knew a friend of a friend. Yeah. And the person was like, "Hold on, ain't you? Ain't this him?" Man ended up getting married and everything. Had a whole other life. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And so that's how that's how I end the show. Yeah. yeah that's how you end it. <laughs> what a name. Throw something out there, some material. You know? <laughs> I said I didn't want to go heavy, but hey, that got heavy. It got heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that got real heavy. Oh, um, so um, don't forget to follow my people. Uh, you know, Victoria Lori uh, on all platforms. Uh, well, you got a couple of D Floyd yeah, visions. Yeah, D, D Floyd Leo visions. Leo visions. Um, uh, Novelology. Novelology. Yeah. You, you got any other besides, I mean, yeah, besides your, uh, just your regular moniker or is there anything else or not? Just no. Victoria underscore Lori. No. I have a Facebook, but I don't really be on that. But no, everything right. is on Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and help my girl out just a little bit. So as you can see, this beautiful little thirst trap has a whole gym fit brand that she's repping right now getting the summer goddess body right for film tv and the beach you see her working on the cheeks she got them things thing uh got the booty you know just toning up a little bit plus the abs girl you better go ahead with you better go ahead look go to the store go to the link in her bio 
cop something right now. Get it right now. Thank you. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. <laughs> um, so we got to do our homework. Um, uh, somehow, I don't know why I feel led to uh, go watch guys like see what she's talking about. Too much. You, you see, I was preparing. You know, I, you know, but I didn't get that part of the. Uh, that could be yeah. the, the yeah, next, I had to do my, the yeah, next uh, show. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do this again. Like I said, we're running back. Either not only here, but. Um, Either or Barbara Brooks, you know. Like okay. Said, so okay. You know, the that is, I yeah. love these songs. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's why I, I was that. hoping to try that because my, uh, like, I heard, you know, from uh, the women were like, you know, my my, my food pickout is spectacular. So, I mean, you try. I mean, you try to keep, but you. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, actually, you can take one home. Actually. Bring me a box. Yeah. Bring the box so they can see it on camera. So we in the song. Oh, I don't care. Look. Y'all already know real foodies real, know. Real, real, you rap, real rap, rap, you ain't lying. It's good while it's cold. Absolutely. Right. It's good. Right. You, you, ain't, <laughs> you ain't lying. Nah, I did. No way said it best. Absolutely. Real rap, bro. You ain't even lying. Here's you what the box lie. looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what is what is this that I'm about to try on? Okay? Alright, so this is uh pan pizza with chicken, iced tomatoes, okay. and white sauce. That's with really feta good. cheese. I, I had some earlier. That, that's really good. I'm gonna flip it some more too. That joint banging. Uh, that joint uh, smacking. Your boy don't miss. Yeah. Your boy don't <laughs> Kobe said you miss a thousand shots of the shots you don't take. Yeah. You, you want to take that home? Like, I got yeah. 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 Mama, she, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, so, um, like I said, once again, it's been a lovely time. And, um, uh, catch us I, near a film near, near you. We out, people. <laughs> we out. Mm, that was cool. This is so good. Mm. Hey. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it? Can I do it? Am I doing it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you know, I got it. Yeah. I got it. I, I, I kind of disappointed myself. I was supposed to make it. Right. Oh <laughs> my God! <laughs>